end of the season, just what you guys are going through right now? Is there a moment you can think about it? Uh, disappointment, obviously. You know, I think it's, um, um, yeah, it's so sad that it's setting in, really. Um, but I'm upset because I think we had a really good squad this year. And, you know, every year there's, there's change and, and careers don't last forever, too. So when you know you have a good squad, then you want to achieve something with that squad. So that's, that's the first thing that, that kind of sticks out to me. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I thought we, we won it today. We, we were dominant throughout the whole game. You know, you can't fault that effort. Um, I don't even know the stats, but I mean, I barely touched the ball all game. So um, just needed that, that final little thing up front to make it count. And unfortunately, we weren't, weren't able to do that, but um, I'm proud of the guys for, for fighting the whole way. And that's a characteristic of the squad and of this franchise. And it's, it's going to be going forward um, regardless of this year. Jeremiah, I think I saw you. Yeah, uh, Christian, obviously this is the earliest you guys have been out. Um, what is the, the general feeling of the town right now? Well, I think bitter end to the season, right? I think this last game was an example of, or a summary of our season, right? You start off hot, you continue hot, you go from first to second, second to first, you're on top of them, we're on top of the, the West, and then you see a, a decline in the last six or seven games, which was like our PKs, right? Um, so, you know, today was a, a, a real summary of, of our season, I think. Um, and it's really unfortunate, you know, like Steph said, we have a really good team. I think injuries caught the best of us, got the best of us. Um, and, and, you know, we were lacking that final product in, in the last six, seven games. So, uh, it's unfortunate because I thought we, we played well today. Um, and then soccer is, you know, PKs are PKs, you know, you, you can't fault the guys for the amount of work that, that they did today, um, that they did all season. Uh, so just, just bitter, uh, the, the way it ended. Nico. Uh, Christian, did, did you guys expect what you guys saw out of Real Salt Lake and how deep they were playing and how much precision they gave you guys? For sure. Um, you know, we thought that they would be in a, a mid block to low block at times, going for a, a going from a four two four to a four four two. Um, it's very direct. I didn't think that they wouldn't get a shot on goal, um, but the amount of work that they did to close any space, um, you know, prevent passing, uh, passing lanes um, was difficult. And, you know, credit to them, they, they, they played their game plan, but um, in the end, we, we did expect uh, what our South brought today. Other questions in the room before we go upstairs to Zoom? Yeah, right here. You guys feel you guys could have done something better today to get a better outcome? Of course, of course. Uh, there's always stuff you can do better. You strive for perfection, but you're not able to achieve it. And, you know, I think today, like I said, we we had a lot of possession. We had a lot of crosses, but we have nothing to show for it. So there needed to just to be something that made all any of that count. And in, in, in football, it's goals that that make that count. And we weren't able to find that, obviously. So, and then like Christian said, PKs, you know, there's, there's a way this game needs to end because the guys were leaving it out all on pitch and you can't go on indefinitely. Like, you know, people were cramping and that's what I mean. We, we, we put in a heck of a shift. We, they made it as hard as they could. And so you've got to give them credit too, but um, with everything that we were able to achieve with the possession, with the crosses, there just needed to be that one thing that was going to really make that count uh, because otherwise it's just a stat. It didn't really matter. And, and that obviously didn't help us today. Matt, we'll start. Final 2016. Uh, 
and then kind of just a follow up. How difficult is it for a goalkeeper whenever you haven't had very much action at all to then lock in and be a part of a shootout like that? Uh, I mean, I think it's 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 harder if you're if you haven't been asked to do anything, and then there's something in the in the run of game at the very end of the game, for example. A shootout is a shootout. You you, you do your scouting. Uh, you know, we, we we had scouted their takers as, as a goalkeeping unit. We knew what they preferred for the most part, and were able to to guess a few right. Um, then, unfortunate, uh, obviously, with what happened there, and you know, at the end. Um, you know, it's a game of inches, um, and, and it sucks, but uh, those are the games I want to be part of, it, it, the ones where I don't have to do anything. That's, that's a credit to, to the squad in front of me, you know, to be able to um, keep an opponent in their own half for 120 minutes and, and make them defend with, with their lives is, is, is exactly how I want to play the game. So, uh, um, yeah. Did it remind me of 2016? No, not really. I feel like I was more in the game involved in that in that one, and obviously that was the final, which is another another story. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe a bit of uh, Timbers um, PK shootout that that we you know lost as well, and we need to respond next year. Uh, hopefully, the same way as we did uh, on that one. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously the disappointment is, is there for everybody, but, um, you know, one guy's going to miss, and it's not that he lost it for us, and I think he knows that we don't have to tell him that we put in a heck of a shift today, and had a really good year for us, a really good pickup and addition for, for this squad, so uh, I don't even think we have to, to assure him that he puts any extra blame on him himself or anything like that, so... Um, we, 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 we win and we lose as a team. And that doesn't really have to be said uh, in this squad. I think uh, Schmetz always says that, you know, that we achieve what we want to achieve as a squad. And, and, and we view it as such. Um, and then we, but we falter, we falter as a squad as well. So um, I'm not worried about him. And I'll end it with, Although this was disappointing and you know we lost the way we did at home, it was a, a successful season without any trophies won. And that's hard to say because we expect so much um, as a club. We had to deal with a lot of injuries, you know, guys in and out because of national team, COVID, just a difficult year altogether, and I think the group came together. Uh, the amount of guys that played a part this year was, I think, unprecedented. Uh, so although we didn't win anything, um, you know, I want to end this in the right way, in a positive way, because we have to deal with a lot, and um, I think the team came together, and I think we're better for it. But just you mentioned how good this group has been, you know, looking into next season, how, how key is it? I mean, players come and go, but how, how important is it to retain, have a big portion of this team to just continue to be together for next season? It's always beneficial to, to have people um, that have experience within the organization and stay here and, and maybe can, you know, ensure that the high standard that we do have here um, keeps going. Um, also, bring these experiences over into the next squad. Um, uh, you know, you, you don't want to forget this loss. Um, and so, when players come that, that didn't get to experience it, you, you want to make sure they understand what it meant and uh, that it, you know, we need to grow from it and get better from it, even though the, those players were not there and weren't part of it. So. Um, I'm not worried. I think our, our, our staff always does a, a good job of making sure that we have a good mix, whether it's, you know, experienced veterans that have been there for a while, younger guys, hungry guys, um, maybe bringing in a couple guys from, from, our, from other places in the league that, that have experience. And, and so 
Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a good squad together next year that we can hopefully uh, make, a, make, make a push for it and, and like I said, respond the same way as we did after that uh, Portland, Portland loss that was devastating that time. Um, and we were able to, to find a way uh, to motivate, motivate the next year's squad um, and, and do it next year.